Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. So I wanted to talk about this <clears throat> Abraham family, Abrahamic family house in Abu Dhabi. And for those of you guys that are watching um, for Jesus' soon return for the rapture of the church, you guys are probably familiar with this already. Um, but I wanted to talk about it again. So I read a passage of scripture this morning in my Bible study that reminded me about it. And it is a verse that is often misquoted and used by people to say that um, that all religions uh, like work together, that um, we're all praying to the same God type of thing. And so it's often misquoted. Let me just read it really quick. It's from Isaiah 56, 7. And it says, For my house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. And so this made me think automatically about the Abrahamic family house or the Abrahamic um, house of prayer. There's like different names for it, but I think it's officially called the Abrahamic family house. And I have heard people use this verse before inappropriately in that manner, saying that, um, see, like, you know, Judaism, Islam, and Christianity have are, are building this house in Abu Dhabi, um, recognizing or saying, proclaiming that uh, we all serve the same God. And so that's incorrect. And I'm going to talk about why that is. But I wanted to read something from an article that was written last year in July from on the Vatican News um, website. It's called Abrahamic Family House in Abu Dhabi to Open in 2022. And let me just get down to the part that I want to quote to you guys. It says here that the Abrahamic family house epitomizes interfaith, harmonious coexistence, and preserves the unique character of each religion, says Muhammad Khalifa al Mubarak, chairman of the Department of Culture of Abu Dhabi in HCHF member. Um, so I know you guys have probably seen those coexist stickers on people's cars. Um, they have the symbols of like each religion on there to include Judaism, Christianity, Islam, um, and probably uh, others as well. And so that's saying that, you know, we can coexist peacefully, like to each his own type of thing. But I have done so many videos already talking about how Jesus is the only way true for the life. He's the only one that will um, uh, allow us to be with the Father, to go to heaven. And so it's our faith in him and that, in, that alone is what's gonna save us. Um, and so that is the difference between Christianity and other religions, the worldly religions, that they say that you have to do a certain amount of things, um, that your good works have to out your bad works in order for you to go to heaven. Um, and so Jesus says that he is the way, the truth, and the life in John 14, 6, and that no one can go to the Father except through him. So we know that the worldly view is incorrect the worldly view of religion saying that there's more than one way to God um, and unfortunately that verse is misquoted um, a lot saying that the house um, his house shall be a house of prayer for all nations and I want to give you guys some context on that verse um, so in Isaiah 56 prior to verse 7 it actually talks about how um, foreigners and outcasts can join themselves with the Lord and that they get the same promises that the Israelites do. So this also speaks to Gentiles and Jews alike um, that we can both be saved, you know, and we see this throughout New Testament scripture as well, that um, the Jews thought, you know, since they were the chosen ones, and they're the people of God, that the message couldn't also be for Gentiles, that it was only for them. But as we know, Jesus came for Gentile and Jew to be saved so that whoever believes in him 
that whosoever that is, whether that's a Gentile or Jew, can be saved. Um, they just have to place their faith in him. They just have to believe that he is who he says he is, that he is the son of God, God the son who died for our sins, was buried and rose again on the third day. Um, and so it's as simple as that. It's belief in Jesus. But Satan wants to confuse that. He wants people to think that um, the same God that Christians serve is the same God that Islam serves, that Judaism serves, and so that's actually incorrect. Um, that's the worldly view of religion. It's not the actual truth of what scripture tells us. So there was another, not article, but website I wanted to tell you guys about. So this Abrahamic family house in Abu Dhabi has a website you can go to called forhumanfraternity.org. Um, I encourage you guys to just look it up really quick um, if you're interested in this. But um, let me see. Under mission, it says, our mission is to inspire all people to live the values of human fraternity. We believe the values of the document on human fraternity are key to promoting peace on all levels between individuals, organizations, nations, and even between humanity and the environment. So this is about trying to uh, pull people together. And we know that any type of globalist movement is not good. <laughs> Number one, for when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction will come upon them as a woman in labor pains, right? That's for Thessalonians 5. And so um, we see that here. They're saying peace on multiple levels is what they're trying to promote. Um, and then also the second big no-no, of course, like I said, is this globalization, because we know from Revelation 13 that there is going to be a one world order, that there is going to be a one world religion. And so this is trying to bring that about, right? It's these baby steps, this social conditioning that the world is going through. So we are not in the tribulation yet, but during the tribulation, there will be a one world order, one world religion, everyone will have to worship the Antichrist. So meaning that the globe will have to be united even prior to the tribulation, more than likely. We're going to see that um, continue up to that point, right? And thank God the believers in Christ are going to be raptured before the start of the tribulation period. Um, so another note I wanted to make that um, this website also says that the Abrahamic family house captures the values shared between three different religions, which is Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. And that's incorrect because, like I said, um, Jesus is the only way to the Father. And so Judaism and Islam preach something different. And we know that any gospel preached other than Jesus is actually considered accursed. And so we don't have the same values. Um, you know, uh, people can say, oh, well, you have the same morals. Like, okay, that could be like, you know, your, your conscience or um, people who are atheists or agnostic um, don't necessarily go around killing people, you know? And so, yeah, like people have morals, but um, the foundation of Christianity is believing in Jesus. Jesus is the cornerstone and all of the believers are built upon him and the cornerstone can also be a stumbling block. If you do not believe in Jesus, then Jesus is a stumbling block for you, right? Um, and that ties into our pride, as I have mentioned in other videos, that your pride often gets in the way of believing in Jesus. Because you want to believe that there's something that you can do for yourself to save yourself, which is not the truth at all. The truth is that Jesus is the only one who can save you. So um, we don't share the same values as religions in this world. We don't, not at all. Um, Jesus is the only way to the Father. Um, I cannot stress that enough. It's belief in Jesus and that, that, and that alone that saves you, gains you access to the Father, gains you access to heaven. Um, so it's really sad to see that you know, uh, they're trying to globalize religion in this way and trying to tie it in together with each other. Um, but it's also, I have to be careful about what I say, 
but it, it is also exciting to see um, these things come to pass before our very eyes because we know that we are so close to the rapture and the tribulation period. Um, so we're seeing prophecy being fulfilled before our very eyes and that is very cool and exciting, but at the same time, um, it is sad to see people being led astray by this deception. I mean, Satan is going to do anything that he can to take Jesus out of the equation. Um, deceiving people into thinking that, you know, Christianity is just like any of the other religions. Um, and so there are, unfortunately, a lot of churches nowadays that don't even preach Jesus. Um, they just talk about good morals, um, being a good person, and trying to make the best of your day type of situation. And that's not what we're here for. Um, you know, we're not here on this earth to try to um, make a good life for ourselves. No, we are here to live for Jesus. Um, so there's nothing wrong with, you know, enjoying the life that God has given you. But at the same time, that's not what we should be preaching from the pulpit. Um, we should be going to church to get encouragement um, but also to um, draw closer to Jesus and to work on our relationship with him so that way we can be ministers, we can be vessels for the Lord to go out and share with others about Jesus and to expose these evil works and um, doctrines of demons that are in this world, right? We want to expose it, bring it to the light. And so... Um, it is quite an unpopular topic nowadays to talk about Jesus, but like I said, that is because Satan is doing everything he can to take Jesus out of the equation because he knows that Jesus is the only one who can save you. So anyways, you guys, um, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless you, and I will see you in the clouds very soon. It is a great day to be raptured.